Let's have a look at a short scene from a recent project of mine. Have you seen that? This effect with the mouse wheel. Let me show you how I've done that in DaVinci Resolve. First, let's take our video clip and set the in and out points. Then move it into our timeline and apply a color grade. Nothing fancy here, just a few adjustments. Okay, now to the fun part, animating the tools. Take a screenshot from the tool icons you want to add and add it to the media pool. Now I open our clip in the fusion page and add the screenshot from the media pool. Add a HSL key and use it to remove the background of our icon screenshot. Then add a transform node and connect them to a multi merge node. Now use a rectangle mask in front of the screenshot node to separate one of the icons. Let's adjust the height and turn down the width to only cover one icon. Let's copy these nodes and adjust the mask to fit the second icon. Do these steps for the other icons as well. Now let's position and animate them around the mouse wheel. First of all, disconnect the multi merge from the media in and media out node. And let's add a normal merge node in between. We will now position the center of the single merge node in the middle of the mouse wheel. In the next step, we can adjust all the positions from the icons to our end position. We use the transform nodes for this. To get the rotation, we can now animate the angle value on the merge node. Make sure to look closely how your mouse wheel moves. In my case, I have a pause between the two scrolls, so I animate it accordingly. And what I'm doing exactly here is going to the end point where our mouse scroll ends. I will set a keyframe. Then I will go to the first point where I will start scrolling and set a keyframe as well. And here I will adjust the angle value. So our icons are hidden. And then to add the pause, I will go forward where the first scroll ends. I will set a keyframe there as well. And then I will go to the beginning of the second scroll add another keyframe. And then I give both of these keyframes the same value of 45 degrees. Now we are almost finished. We just need to hide the icons behind the hand. So let's add a polygon mask to the merge node and adjust it so it masks out our hand and mouse. And finally, I will add motion blur to our merge node. And here you are, add some sound effects and you are ready to go.